Hi, I'd like to welcome you on to this webinar today. We're going to be talking about the Monster Viral Funnel and we're going to be talking about how it works and we're going to give you an overview in this presentation about what the system is and how to use it. On this call today, I'm going to talk with you about a few key concepts about what the Monster Viral Funnel is. I'm going to start out by talking about my warning I have on the screen. It says, do not watch this presentation until you have experienced the Monster Viral Funnel for yourself. And what I mean by that is you need to go through the Monster Viral Funnel. If you haven't actually used it, go through the presentations on it. You'll want to do that to see how it works. And then this presentation today is going to really talk to you about some of these key concepts. And the first one we're going to discuss is going viral. And I'm going to explain a little bit about that concept to you, how it works with the funnel. We're going to also talk about what a funnel is and why the Monster Viral Sales Funnel or Monster Viral Funnel is called the funnel. And then I'm going to introduce you to link binding. And uh, this terminology will help you understand how it works. Okay, let's get started. So the first thing I want to say is you don't have to see the engine to know it's a fast car. And when it comes to technology, sometimes we think we have to know everything about it before we start to use it. This type of technology is not in that category. You can absolutely start using it, and you do not have to know how everything works to benefit from it. Uh, the other thing is uh, you don't have to be a mechanic to drive a fast car. And you should realize that you don't have to be a software engineer, you don't have to be a professional internet marketer, you don't have to be familiar with computers and technology to really benefit from that this uh, system. In fact, if you can click like, you can do this. So that's the one point I want to drive home as we get started in this presentation. And hopefully I can educate you on some ideas and expand your mind to uh, some, some thinking on how this works. Okay, let's get started. The viral loop. This is a process and a method that's used by companies like Facebook, LinkedIn, YouTube. And the viral loop, what that is, is it's the, it's the process of clicking a link on the internet. It's uh, seeing a message that comes through on that link. It's then having a desire to reshare that. And then it's sharing that link. And then, of course, the person that you shared it with sees the link, they click on the link, they see the message, they have a desire to share. And that is the process that goes over and over and over again. And that really is what uh, the concept of viral marketing is on the Internet. Now, I have down here on this picture um, the desire to share in red because we're going to talk about that in just a little while because that's a real important part of the going viral process. So. One of the other things I wanted to bring to your attention is the idea that a social share is a one-time event. And a lot of times uh, people will say, yeah, I'm doing some social marketing or viral marketing. I posted my link out on my Facebook. And that really is not um, viral marketing. Sharing your link out onto Facebook is an event where you share something or you like something and people can see that information for that period of time only that one time. So they're not actually resharing your link. Um, viral is different than a one-time share. Viral is actually when your link is being shared by others. So it's when um, you share your link with somebody who then reshares your link, who then reshares your link with their friends, who then reshare your link. So viral is when others share your link. Now, you've seen some of these funny cat videos out there, and we've all logged on to YouTube from time to time and here's a cat video that has 5,902,000 shares and links and obviously that is absolutely a video that has gone viral. Now we all can't expect to go viral like this cat did but um, the concept here is, is this would not be a viral video if people weren't sharing that video so that's the point I want to get across in this uh, illustration. So when we talk again about the viral loop, how does that work for Solove in this technology and how does the monster viral funnel help us go viral? Well, one of the things that makes uh, Solove unique and this type of company unique is, is that we already have a desire to share um, this opportunity with our friends, with our family, with people in our warm markets. and. I kind of think of networking and network marketing and the concept of uh, uh, sharing something that we value with our friends. You know, that's been going on for a long time. 
And I think today with social networking, what we really have is we have the technology framework that's laid on top of those relationships. I think that's what uh, makes this great. And we really do have this desire to share what we've discovered with Solove and the service and the business opportunity. So if we take that ingredient and we have a tool that we can go ahead and start pushing that out there with, then we can we can definitely motivate people to go viral and to begin to propagate our message. So how that works is, is something you're going to learn today with the Monster Viral Funnel. Now, what is a sales funnel? Well, a sales funnel is a process that somebody goes through to make a decision. And we use what's called the ADA formula. And, and ADA stands for Awareness, Interest, Desire, and Action. And it's just Marketing 101. And what that means is that if we can take somebody down a presentation and we can build awareness, we can generate interest, we can create desire, and we can move them to take action, then what we've done is we've successfully put them through a sales funnel. And that process can be done most effectively on the internet through video. So video is a very popular, it's very engaging. People like to um, watch and they want to use all of all of their uh, visual and, and audio and, and video really is it's a fantastic thing for the internet to do that. Now the Monster Viral Funnel process uses a three video uh, three-step video sales process and an example is Bill might share a link out to a video on the internet and we call that first video of the funnel the interrupt video because it's really designed to interrupt what you're doing to get your attention think of it as a, an attention getter video the second video is to engage and to educate somebody on what the opportunity is how does it work you know why should I get involved with this and of course the third video really talks about why they need to take action that's the offer video is what we call that that's the one that says okay let's take action and let's do something today now I'm going to show you another picture here that um, describes this in a little more detail and again we've got the shared link and then we talked a little bit about the first video creating interest and curiosity second video explaining how it works and the third video explains the company opportunity with Solvay and prompts them to take action for example in this particular funnel um, of course there's a process that takes place here it's called a Facebook like and uh, what happens is somebody watches this first video they like it on Facebook and it creates a link and puts it out to their Facebook now we call that a temporary link I'm going to talk with you about what that is next but on the third part of the sales funnel in the monster viral funnel process there's a call to action that will either prompt someone to join Solove or to bind their link and both of those actions are important and they're required to continue and, and uh, start the propagation, the viral process. So you're probably wondering, how does our system track all of this? And what our system does essentially is, is it tracks the links that are going out across the social networks from the people that you're posting out to and who they're posting out to and who they're posting out to and it'll track the link and it'll track using an ID who the person is that's associated with that link and that's the process we use to track the activity so that the proper IDs can be passed in the and you can get credit for bringing somebody into Solovey through the monster viral funnel so what happens is to watch the videos you have to like the video on Facebook and that's the very first part of the first video you'll come in there's actually a little continue button that has a timer on it so it, when someone starts watching the first video they can't advance ahead until they've watched it and then they hit the continue button and what it'll say is if you if you would like to see the next video like us on Facebook and of course you can always unlike uh, that video on Facebook if you don't want to have a, a link out there on your Facebook but when they go through that process it takes them into the second video and we've now established that link out on Facebook now each like creates what we call a duplicate funnel so when Bill shares that link out on Facebook the like goes out what happens is it posts a link up onto his wall 
telling his friends to visit the link that's here and you can see the post up on the wall right here and what happens is when someone clicks on that like post what they're going to see is a temporary link to your new funnel that was just created for you so think of it like this everyone who comes through and clicks on like on your videos puts a link out on their Facebook that's creating a funnel for themselves so you have a new funnel when you click someone's uh, link it does create the funnel for you and and it's now out on Facebook now what happens right at that point is that you have not joined Solove yet so you don't have a Solove user ID so if anybody on your Facebook wall decides to click on your link and they go through the presentation and they like it as well then it'll create a temporary link for them and a funnel for them out on Facebook and it continues down as it propagates through Facebook so this will be a generation upon generation it'll create those so you're probably wondering well what happens to my link and how do I capture those people so that I get credit for them so what happens is we call that binding and I'm going to show you how binding works in a minute but here's let's take this example again of of uh, Bill here Bill has bound his link uh, you clicked on Bill's Facebook you clicked on the link he had for the funnel you watched the funnel but you've not bound your link yet that means that um, when people come to your Facebook site and they go through and they click on the link what's going they're going to see your presentation but when they get to the point in the funnel where they can take action that third video they click the join button it's going to actually push them through to bill sign up page at Solove and this is a really important concept because you got to remember bill has already bound his link he's already in Solove so that links being passed through these IDs now of course until you bind your temporary funnel link to your permanent funnel link the join now link in your funnel will redirect to the bound funnel above you and um, of course when you start using this platform and you want to build your solo vape business the first thing you're going to want to do is bind so let's talk a little bit about the binding process um, the binding process works like this uh, you get to the third video at the third video uh, by the time you've gotten there you've already been assigned this temporary ID that's been posted out to your Facebook wall now at the at that point where you take action um, you're going to be able to click a link and join Solove and whoever shared the video with you um, that ID is going to pass through so so when you join Solove it connects you together and then um, on the screen it says enter your Solove username and you put your Solove username Mary in there for example and I click bind and what the system does is it creates a new permanent funnel link for you right at that moment when you've bound your link so it'd be something like HTTP colon forward slash forward slash go free dot biz forward slash Mary and then what it does is it takes and combines your temporary link that's out on your Facebook with your new permanent link and then from that point forward all anyone who goes through any of those links on your Facebook will be redirected to your Solove sign up page and that allows you now to have your ID in the system so it continues to um, give you that credit now that's important because once bound you inherit all of those uh, any any temporary links or links that are coming through your network out on Facebook and this works for anybody that comes into the business below you as well they go through the same process you did and uh, of course what happens in this scenario is once you've bound um, your your uh, here's Bill over here he says hey you're an adopted funnel he says basically you've bound now so you're your own parent and all these funnels below you become your child funnels that's why you'll you'll see this from time to time so after you've bound your link the system can pass your soul of AID through the links which means you're the new parent to all the child links below you so again here we go your sign up page solovey.com slash Mary is where the third spot links when people join so that makes this a really great tool because what you can do is is that you can share this funnel 
and um, the new people that are not involved with your business can go through this process. They'll get the presentation on Solovey, on the technology, how the funnel works, and then immediately when they click Facebook, like it begins to work for them because it starts to share, and then it explains that um, when you join the company, you bind your link, you now can have credit for all of this propagation when, as it passes your ID. Um, now, you're probably wondering, uh, well, what happens if a visitor doesn't bind immediately when they come to my funnel and, I, and they go through the steps? Maybe they liked it on Facebook, but then they, they don't bind. Well, what's happening is, is that like button is out on Facebook, and you got to think about this like that's like any other like on Facebook. If you went and bought flowers at a flower store, and then when you checked out of the flower store, you, you liked the flowers, it's going to post a like up on your wall. Everyone can see that. If anyone clicks on that, they're gonna they can go buy flowers, and you won't get credit for um, selling the flowers. So it's very similar to that. Is if somebody goes through your funnel, I'm sorry. If somebody goes through your funnel, and they they go ahead and they like it, well, if they don't bind, if they don't don't join Solovey, then it's just a like out there that's going to take them back. Uh, so that when somebody uh, views that funnel link it's obviously going to give you the credit for that so again um, down here parent link is what we call you after you've bound any temporary link uh, that goes back of course if they bind then um, somebody down here does bind and they become their own parent then they inherit everything below them so that's kind of a nice process and again this does not actually um, talk with your software at Solovey it's it's not saving a position in the Solovey software this all really is just referencing um, what's happening out on the internet with your viral funnel and, and it's just tracking that so again what happens if the visitor doesn't immediately bind well the system's going to send them an email when they go through the process and it's going to send them a link where they can come back and bind later on so let's say somebody's at work and they get your funnel and they're watching it on their computer and they want to go home at night and they want to bind it from there um, all they need to do is check their email and they're going to have a link to go back and bind their account so the uh, monster viral funnel tracks the links um, that are happening through this process when they click that like button that's tracked and then of course um, it doesn't just work with Facebook it works with multiple social networks and uh, inside of the system once you have bound your link you get a username and password to what we call a viral dashboard where you can then share it out with uh, over 98 other social networks so there's a lot of connectivity there to build your business um, I'm going to talk about that, by the way, in the next presentation. So, uh, again, uh, fear of loss is a great motivator. Um, so, like Shaggy says here, you mean if I don't bind my link, I might lose the opportunity to sign up someone who is sharing my link on Facebook and other networks? The answer is yes, Shaggy. That is the case. You're going to want to take action. And uh, once you recognize that this is a fantastic tool, for building your business, you it, in, it helps you. It helps engage your people to become involved, so they don't lose the opportunity that has already been presented to them. And that's a good good thing to have as far as technology. It's already working for you, and you haven't even joined the company yet. So, we have another really powerful tool, by the way. What, what we want to do is when someone goes through the process and they bind their link, um, the next screen they see it allows them to share out their new permanent link with five of their friends that they have email addresses for and we call that share five and this is this is this allows the system to propagate virally through email as people are sharing it and coming on and joining your business so what it does is the screen will pop up this is also a new feature if you've been using the older viral funnel this particular feature was not um, at the end of the the binding process now it is but when you put five email addresses in and hit the send invite then that obviously sends your permanent link out to those five friends and if any of them come through and they experience the funnel and like it then it propagates the Facebook out to the networks with their temporary link that's connected with you and then if they go ahead and bind then they begin to share it with their five friends you share it with their five friends you share it with their five friends and we begin to have a viral effect happening 
with warm market email shares. And again, that's a very, very powerful uh, process because if you share this and you send 10 people through who share it with five, that's 50. Who share it with five, that's 250. So you can obviously see how quickly the linking begins to grow and your message is being shared out on the internet. Um, of course, uh, part of our system that you're going to see in our back office features here is the monster sharing after the bind is complete is fantastic. We do have that share five utility also built into your viral dashboard. We have a Facebook wall posting uh, process you can also do that continues to allow you to push your messaging out to Facebook. Free ad posting where there are pre-written ads, um, targeted traffic tools to push um, advertising to your uh, monster viral funnel page and then of course our integration with 98 social networks that we're going to talk about in the next part of this presentation. That is going to be our back office viral dashboard demonstration which we're going to start for you next. So thank you for being on this part of the presentation and stay tuned for the presentation on the viral dashboard. We've got some exciting things to show you.